We're the Disbursements, and tonight we're playing the uh, Lost Tomb of Martek, continuing the adventure, uh, the third in the uh, Desert of Desolation series. I'm the uh, I'm the DM Aaron, and uh, let's see the um, we have. Let's see. What are we doing tonight? So we're 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 in the Mobius Tower. Um, the party actually made it into the tomb itself, and they're in one of the towers. Um, and uh, playing tonight in our party, uh, we've got uh, Peter. He's playing who? Mugla, the barbarian pit flyer. Extraordinary. And uh, also joining us, we've got Toby. And who's Toby's pl who's Toby playing? Hormay Music, the purple tiefling trickster cleric of Tamora, the goddess of luck. All right. And then uh, giving the recap tonight before we get started is our channel host. Michael, a.k.a. Zareft, and uh, first tell us who, who you're playing, and then tell us our recap. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Zareft, and I will be playing Marcus, the High Elf Wizard, who just recently joined the party. Well, recently-ish. Um, so, Marcus was fascinated by the tower that we followed and found everything frozen in time except certain monsters that are undead. And we explored and found an assassination attempt on a sheik, which we thwarted that was frozen in time. And uh, we informed what would have been the queen, who apparently was behind the assassination plot and uh, didn't, was not happy about it. So, we went on our way and explored the floors, and we met a ghost who took forever to talk, so we left him behind. And as well as we find ourselves in an infinite loop, not just in time, but also in floors that go to the same place over and over and over again. And I'm pretty sure that was all. Uh, is that everything in here? Or is there something else we're forgetting? Um, that's the gist of it, right? Uh, how are y'all doing in terms of hit points, spell slots, etc.? Uh, spell slots, I'm probably not good. I'm doing all right in both for now. Mm -hmm. But I've burnt a lot of my wants of my abilities. I see. Yes, I have. Uh, I think y'all took like a short rest or something. Yeah. yeah. Had just taken a short rest, I think. Yeah, it's pretty well the same for me. Spells. Most of it's uh, my once day abilities are used. Okay. Yeah. Well, so my spell slots are used up. All right, so um, uh, let's see. Yeah, so y'all pretty much figured out you've now been to every floor, I think, right? right. Well, you. What are we doing back on this floor? I don't remember going back down. We were running away from things above us, but I believe, yes, we have seen all four floors, unless there's a fifth we don't know about. I plead the fifth. I don't think Toby would God get damn that. It. No, I get that. <laughs> I've watched enough American films. <laughs> What's the equivalent for saying I plead the fifth in the UK? Uh, or is there an equivalent? I don't think there is an equivalent. Okay. 
you just refuse to speak. <laughs> have a legal representative on hand. I see. If you're well, smart, otherwise you just tell the police everything. <laughs> All right, so Mugleg, you're going off towards the Sheik's room where you're. Mugleg's tired of these stairs. They're confusing. His head hurts. So yeah, there's your uh, trusty bag of holding still floating midair with. Uh, a crossbow bolt or is it an arrow? I don't know. Uh, a tear a tear sheds from Uglo's eye. My precious money. Because I think that's about uh, all I can do in the bag of holding with money. <laughs> it's it's mostly party loot, right? It's I think that's all I really keep for bag of holding. Party Probably, loot. yeah. Yeah, roughly a third. We of have the like party. hundreds of pounds, if, if not thousands of pounds of gold coins, right? Yeah, I've got quite a bit. Yeah, where's that party loot sheet list of loot? I think it would be pretty funny. He wakes up. He's like, "What's this? I assassination plan on my on my own home turf? What's this? A training gold?" This is the best thing ever. Let's see what's in here. Diamonds. Lots of gems. Oil, pearls. Lots of gold, lots of platinum. Tin candles, a silver bell, hourglass. Now that's just ironic. <laughs> hey, we got posted of the healing? You'll never y'all really <laughs> never look. Y'all really never looked in the bag, did you? Well, oh third... no, no! This is the worst thing that can be in there. There's acid and an alchemist fire, and the yeah, scroll. We would have done to check before we used it as a anti-assassination trap. We're too dumb, <laughs> and we should know better. Yes, we should know better. Yeah, you're right. There's three potions of healing and a potion of superior healing in there. And a one dosage of Vix. What does Vix do? Oh, it makes you feel better for cold? It's uh it's like it's like a it heals you and it also cures you of disease and Is it possible to take an item out of this bag of holding like a no. uh no. It's now frozen in time. Basically, if there's something you want out of this bag, there's a 33% chance. Well, if you want anything out of this list of loot, there's a 33% chance it was in Muglug's bag of holding and not. So a scroll of somebody else's. curse is stuck there. Maybe. Maybe. They'll have to roll. Oh, okay. So, what y'all gonna do now? So y'all have gone back to well, the room with the soon to be dead sheep. Okay, so y'all are gonna take those stairs down. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be chasing Muglug. Yes. Like if Marcus wants to follow, up, he can. But Homie is all about keeping Muglug alive. Muglug um, leading. <laughs> Let's see, where does that make you all the brave decisions or stupid decisions? One or two. Somebody has to make a decision, and to be honest, as smart as Formir is over Mugluck, I'd rather Mugluck make the decisions. I'm sure Marcus can make a competent decision. I just don't think Michael can make a competent decision. All right. So Sometimes are... you've got to let the stupid person make a decision and see the stupid response. Okay, so where's the stairs lead us? Y'all get taken. Oh, I didn't think Here. about that. Uh-oh. Mm. 
Hmm. The hospital room. <laughs> Could Homie try and discern the use of this, or I'll be under attack already? Well, you hear somebody move. He sees y'all coming down the stairs. Y'all weren't being stealthy, right? No. No. And he ducks into here. Oops. I'm not intending to move y'all. He ducks in under the curtain. And he familiar? yeah, he looked like one of the guys that accompanied uh, Sardok and uh, Trifakas. Maybe one of the few survivors that accompanied him into the Grand Hall when they all last saw. So we saw Trifakas, right? You saw him duck in on, behind this 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 curtain. Yes. Mug -lug, uh, here's mug -lug. Now hold on, give Come me out. a second. Well, what do y'all say? Go ahead and tell me what y'all uh, come out. Uh, Muglug, uh, and now Marcus goes, Muglug, do you want to have an axe throwing competition? Uh, not so mm -hmm. much. My one eye makes it very difficult for me to hit now. Do you want to see who can hit the curtain first? Uh, I think you can get the curtain first. Actually, I'm sorry. He does not go into that room. You see him go to the other, the other curtain. The other curtain. What the curtains? No, not the curtains. You see him duck into this curtain. He ducks around the corner here. He's actually going to go into this curtain. That's where y'all see him disappear into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. says we we saw you <coughs> you're coming out now okay so here's what marcus is going to do he's going to go i'm going to count to 10 and if you do not come out i'm going to hit you um all right so i'm not going to roll initiative but go ahead, everybody tell me what y'all are going to do, including Snick. And we'll start with Marcus. You are going to try to make an intimidation. Is that what you're doing? He's holding a magic missile, and he's going to count to 10. So I guess that would count as intimidation of sorts, but it's your call. It's what it sounded like to me. So go ahead and uh, make an intimidation roll. That's his charisma. Oh, zero. This is going to be wonderful. We thought come out. I won't give you, you, you. No, no. It's like, yeah, he's like, if you don't not come out of that place full of treats and cherries, I will come in there and bash you. No. I'm going to go to my corner now. All right. Uh, so, uh, Pete, what's Muglug doing? Um, Muglug's too tired to chase after him, so Muglug's just leaning against the wall. Saying, uh, if we, we saw you go in the curtain, we uh, we don't want to go chasing after you. Uh, you can come out now. So you want me to do intimidation or something, or just, uh, I'm not really trying to intimidate him. I'm just. Is it more of a persuasion then? Maybe persuasion, yeah. Not that I'm very good at that either. All right, Hormir, what is, or Toby, what's Hormir and Snick doing? Uh, Hormir and Snick would split up. I can never get the movement on large creatures right, but Snake would head towards the bottom end of the H down here, and Holmir would head up here mm. as far as their movement can take them. Alright. 
Um, and he'll just shout, you and your friends are dead. That's also an intimidation roll. Oh. Okay. I guess I should reveal this. Sorry, I didn't realize you were. I left you in the dark. Uh, you see another guy. He sees you screaming. Come out! And he's like, ah! He ducks back here. And you hear him scream, They're here! And then from down here, <coughs> you hear a... <coughs> you hear a guy scream out. Uh, well, what did they call those? They had a name for them. The uh... okay, you hear, you hear a guy scream out. Oh my God, that's the biggest two stepper I've ever seen. And all of a sudden, you all sort of feel like something tug at you from inside. And. Uh, everything feels disorienting. Um, snack. You start to feel everything get played back, played back. Everything that happened. In the tower, you basically are going back through it as if somebody hit rewind on a VHS tape of your life. And um, you go all the way back to this, and I think Snick uh, at that point was not Snick, right? He was. He was a staff. A staff when y'all arrived. Um, everybody, go ahead and revert your character sheet back to what it was before you entered this level. Oh God, give me a hot minute. I don't even know where that was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming. I'm are... assuming that y'all had full hit points, full spell slots, because y'all taken a long rest right before coming through. One of you might have cast a spell on each other or yourselves. I can't remember. And and I think aid had been cast on you right before yeah, by by nice. by Percy right before you came through. Um Oddly enough, the uh one thing that doesn't revert is the um, bag of holding. Um, but everything goes back to what it was before. Not that anything moved um, other than the bag of holding. Is there a memory back to where it was before or is it still intact? No, everything, as you're going through the motions, you're seeing that that Earth Elemental revert back to full hit points. You see the Banshee, uh, you see the ghosts that you'd encountered. Everything uh, goes back to what it was that before. Um, the Crypt Knights uh, go back to where they were. 
Uh, yes. Um, All right. And and let uh, me rephrase what I asked. Uh, okay. Do we have knowledge of everything? Reversing? Yes. Yes, I was gonna say, and you have knowledge. But what happens is you come back to your starting place, and then you momentarily blip out of existence. Um, and I say momentarily because you you everything's going at normal speed for you, reverse speed, I should say. You know, fast forward, reverse speed. I should is a better way of putting it. Right. But once you get to the point where you've entered the tower, you blip out of existence briefly. And then there's a wait, a couple of beats before you reappear again in this spot. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, is the object still here? Yes. Mm. Am I going crazy, or did SVL see that? No, I I saw that, but it was really weird. It felt weird, too. It like, felt disorienting. I, it felt I completely believe. disoriented. Shafak may have found a way to control time to a degree. Muglug tired. Muglug, you feel refreshed. As refreshed <laughs> as as refreshed as when you came first came through uh first entered this, this dungeon. Muglug's mind is tired. <laughs> yes, you, you 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 are your brain hurts, <laughs> cannot fathom, is having trouble fathoming what just happened. Go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. You managed to hold it together, but but yeah, it is it, it is mentally exhausting just thinking about the of what just happened, trying to comprehend it. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I'm gonna try an experiment. So this thing is stuck in whatever trap that this area is in, right? Mm -hmm. So let me look something up real quick and see if I can find it. it takes a sweet time. All right. Oh, here it is. Okay, so what were to happen if I were to put a resilient sphere around the statue, which has immunity to magic and so forth, unless it's something like a disintegrate spell? You should put a bag of holding on it. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, what if it goes back to normal if I put a resilient sphere around it? You'll find out when you do it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to put cast a resilient sphere around the statue. Okay. And I'm going to try to roll it back to us. All right. So, uh, what happens? 
Oh, go ahead and throw out the spell description for me. Mm. Villains feel so that you just burned a fourth level spell slot right off the bat. Is that what you're telling yeah. me? Yeah. Yep. Uh. So you're using it to try to enclose an object that's trapped in time. But can I roll it with us to the portal? I'm going to yeah, say portal no, it doesn't take. No, it's worth a shot. Well, I still have fireball. Do you want to fireball those guys up there? Let's not just explode everything. Well, we're just going to explode them. We have an idea where they are. And Muglug, what are you doing? No, Muglug, don't. Confound it all. I'm, I'm going to retrace my steps, try to figure out what happened. Should have put a resilience here on him. <laughs> Well, yeah. What are y'all doing? Mogul's going to hit the Crypt Knight with his, with his with his chair. Oh, so y'all are going to go and attack that Crypt Knight? Well, no, we're going to move into this room if the Crypt Knight attempts, attacks us, we'll attack back. No, Mugler is trying to surprise attack the Crypt Knight. All right. All right, let's get that. He's not waiting for, he's not waiting for the Crypt Knight to attack us again. He remembers that better last time. All right, so... I think it was a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, sure. Crit initiative. The worst role to crit on. You get to it, go first. Give for a cleric, that's bad. I need to go after you guys. That, that is a good point. I, right. I do see advantage of some systems where you're allowed to, players are allowed to choose which order they go in. Well, I think you can defer your action or at least hold an action, but you eh, can change the turn order though. Yeah, and holding a spell slot is risky because if it doesn't trigger, you lose the spell slot. Yeah, I, like I know why they removed the ability to change turn order, but it does have these things. Okay. There's an advantage to it. It simplifies combat. All right. Um. So Muglug's gonna get one surprise attack on the Kryptonite. Do I get a full attack round or just one attack? A full attack round. So there's a 24 hit, I'm assuming 24 hits. And a 12 well, So this also, but you have to deal with this first. So. I have to do the deal with that before I get to even up to it? Uh, e yeah. Um, what's that? Wisdom save? So mm -hmm. I probably won't. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that 12 is going to miss. Uh, but my uh, 24. So, um, yeah, I'm raging as well. So 14, 15, 16. What was your other attack? Sorry. 
Uh, it was a 24. It was the first attack I rolled. For the chair. Oh, okay. Before I, I rolled. Alrighty, I see. Alright, so 16 points of bludgeoning. And I am going to try to trip it. All right. It needs to do a DC 15 um, strength saving throw. And that adds. So it is prone. And that adds 1d8. Uh, five more damage to the target. And my second attack, since he's prone, has advantage. So I will roll that second. I thought the first. I thought your second attack was the uh, twelve. Yes, the twelve. Oh, so that has advantage now. Okay. Yeah, because you're throwing it. I Still a miss. It's gonna bro. miss. Yeah. He is prone. For now. He is prone. So. That was surprise attack. Four mirrors up. Does Holmir realize this is like a reset loop of what we've done previously, or is he oblivious? It's deja vu all over again. The thought comes to your head. All right, I'll move. It's forward. more than deja vu because we kind of remember everything, right? Oh yeah. No, you completely remember everything. Oh, that minutes. should be advantage because pro. Yes, yeah, so I do it again. That's still a miss. Yeah, I forgot. That's to some, so an eighteen. He's got plate armor, mail, but... plate armor, and shit. <laughs> Faction, uh, spiritual weapon right behind it. All right. Throw oh, that no, wait. I inflicted wounds, so I can't cast another yeah. spell slot spell. Okay. So ignore that. Uh, Homie just stands there and does nothing else. <laughs> in, 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 in disbelief that you knew what was going to happen, you had an yeah. advantage because he was prone and you still missed. Muggle okay, you're up. Rub it in. <laughs> but he's prone. Yeah, he's still prone. So twenty and a twenty-six. Two hits. Both of those will hit. Um, thirty-four points damage. Okay. Um. And give me a 15 con save. DC 15 con save. He is stunned. If he can be stunned. He's stunned. I'm going to wreck this crypt knight. I'm so pissed off from the last time. So he's stunned and he's prone. Yes. Basically, he ain't doing shit, right? He ain't doing shit. He ain't getting back up either. So, Hormir, by the way, you also need to make a... Uh, so, both of y'all need to make more uh, uh, Radiate Fear saves. Um, that's, good. that's a good point. I'll, go with, uh... I'll true grip that. That's a fear effect, right? Yeah. So, what did it mean? Oh, come on. Well, no, 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 no! It's automatic with that true grit, isn't it? Oh, I thought I thought it was just reroll. I think it's automatic. So, um... oh yeah, it's so fast. My bad. I'll just attack recklessly. Uh, no, that doesn't work, right? So, um, take off or add. Um, 17 health back to him. Okay, add 17 back. Because one of them would have been missed. Okay. And now you have fear. Yes. 
And I so still does, have it. Just in my pack, right? Yeah, and so does Hormir. Now you have fear. All right, Marcus, you two will need to make the save. Uh, wisdom, right? Yes, need a 15. Need a 15. Oof. Yeah, this one. Oh man, I'm good. Because usually, a lot of the fears usually when you save, you don't have to do the save again for another 24 hours. But this one, nope. Yeah, so I guess I'm running my whole turn running away, right? No. No, you just uh, you can't get close. And you have All disadvantage right. on attack rolls. Oh, so I can do any attack I want still, but okay. You can't move closer, and you have disadvantage on attacks. That's what well, frightened. Now, on the front, plus, plus I think he's prone. You'll normally have disadvantage on attack rolls anyway. For oh, yeah. Which is why I'm going range. to. Which is why I'm going to do second level magic missile him. Uh, there you go. All right. He gets pumped full of force damage. And since his ass is facing you, because he didn't get a chance to turn around before Mugluk bashed him, <laughs> yeah, bashed him in the back of the head. Yeah. Those missiles, m magic missiles, completely violated him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Toby Hormir's up. Uh, I blame it on Marcus being afraid. He can't focus where he's aiming. That's fair. Uh, Hormir's going to go for another inflict wounds. Yeah, no. Just the same as yesterday, I'm rolling the same on yeah. advantage. I really hate rolls more than someday. So did you make your did you make your wisdom save? Oh no, I need to do that now. You were already frightened, right? Yeah, okay. and I'm still frightened. Okay. Bonus action, nothing. You said. Right. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. All right, Mugluga. Eight on my wisdom. Um, try to hit him with a chair. That'll hit. One hit. Or there we go. Seventeen damage back again. Okay. Um, so who's going next? Who again? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's it. All right. You're not gonna use another sudden strike. Mm, no, I don't want to use them all for the day, right? Okay. I'm good. All right. So now he's no longer stunned. Mm -hmm. and he will finally be able to get through something. He's no longer stunned, and he's gonna stand up. He's gonna stand up. Oh, sorry. He's gonna stand and, up and turn around. Um, I was, I believe. No, I wasn't because he's from. Sorry, no. He he. Uh, I just didn't turn. Had him turn around. I need to get the little tokens. No, I was just seeing if I was thinking whether I was fighting recklessly or not. But I was not. Right. It wouldn't have helped me. Okay. Uh, he's got two long swords, two cryptic long swords, and a death stare. 
Um, he rubs his butt as he looks around. And he sees where those magic missiles must have come from. And he gives the death stare to Marcus. So Marcus, <laughs> Marcus, make a DC 15 wisdom save or take 1d12 necrotic damage. You One have disadvantage save. if you are frightened. And he is very much so frightened, so... Uh, disadvantage. Yeah, I don't know why there's a pack roll on It's just so, so that I could have it click and give the damage. Okay. All right. So you take five points of necrotic damage. There goes all the eight points. And uh, he's going to make a cryptic longsword on Muglug. Misses. And a cryptic longsword on Hormir. Five hits. Five points of slashing damage. This is fine. <laughs> and now it's Marcus's turn. All right. So first, Marcus, Marcus we'll make a wisdom save. Oh no, you already failed, right? So. Right. So Marcus is going to do another second level magic missile. He gets to do the wisdom save every turn, doesn't he? Oh, he's already. Yeah, he will. He will at the end. So minus. Well, what's that? Wasn't saved for the spell attack, not his turn. Well, he was already frightened. So okay, so he takes sixteen points of force damage, and go ahead and make a wisdom save now, just to see if you shake off the fear. All right. Disadvantage or no disadvantage? That's a straight roll. All right. All right, you shook off the fear. I ain't afraid of no skeleton. All right, Muglug, you're up. Or Hormir's up, sorry. Well, I'm well, fearful. You're, you're already afraid. Yeah. So, so disadvantage on attack. anything. Is he save at the beginning turn or end turn? So end if you if you're not feared, you save at the beginning. If you're already okay. failed it, then you save at the end to see if you shake it off. So yeah, so so disadvantage on attack rolls, but not saving throw spells. So. The Constitution save? So he has to make the con save or take seven damage. Yeah, he makes it, passes. He's right. good. Oh, wait. That was cantrip for action. Bonus action, spiritual weapon, right behind him. All right. I think you can throw that I'll out. I'll right? cast that as a fourth level. Actually, there we go. I threw it out. Fourteen will miss. Yeah, fails, but that would have been damage if it hit. Right. I just have to set it to fourth level. But that is all me done. Alright, Muglug. Okay. Oh wait, should I make a wisdom save? Oh yeah, now you can to see if you can shake off the fear. All right, you shook it off. Nice. Muglug will attack recklessly. And miss and miss. And what is it? Is that a save or fail? It's a fail. I can't remember what DC was. 15, okay. So you went reckless though, right? Yes, Are I you, did. Or because you're feared? Yes. Okay. 
so I can roll normally? Right, you <laughs> went reckless so you can roll, roll, roll normally. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now let's bring the pain, right? All right, so since you're afraid, he's going to death stare you. So you can make a disadvantage wisdom save. It doesn't need matter, I guess. So, eight points of necrotic damage to you. And he'll make one longsword attack against you. He has advantage. Seven points of slashing, and then one cryptic longsword against Hormir. Oh, that hits. Eight points of slashing. And now Marcus. It's fear. Okay, so I have to make a winsome save at the beginning of my turn. Alright. 12 save, or does it have to be a 15? It has to be to 15. So I can't get close onto it, and I have disadvantage on attacks. Right. But saving throw spells are not going to be uh, effective. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking about that, but the problem is... I'm not sure if the mage gets very many saving throw spells. I don't want to burn those too much. Ooh, acid splash. Actually, acid splash. Isn't that 15 feet or 10 feet or something? Oh, I didn't oh, take right. acid splash. Darn it. No, acid splash like 60 feet or something. Or 30 feet, maybe. Worst case. It could be 30. I thought it was pretty close, though. Um, Cold the Dead? Is that a amazing spell? It's a it can be. Yeah, but I didn't take it. I guess I will... Spend my last second level spell slot to uh, do a magic missile. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. You destroy the Crypt Knight. Can I stab it again? Just to be sure. Sure. Pound it here. Really spiritual weapon. Into dust. Yeah. Like, between me and the spiritual weapon, we just go at it and make sure it's <laughs> not coming back. Hey, can, can Harmir wear plate mail? I can, but whether or not it's a good idea is a different matter. I can't fly if I wear plate. Oh, because I was just thinking this 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 monster has plate mail on, right? Muglug, uh, would you come back here for a second? Uh, there's something no. I want to talk to you about. What? I've been looking for what? my spell book, and I notice that I have an invisibility spell. And supposedly, uh, I can only turn up turn up to two people invisible. What's invisible? Invis what's it? It means no matter again? what you. It's a spell that basically means no one can see you. Ooh. But they uh, will still hear you. Can they? My point is, I can make up to two people turn invisible if we were to go up there again. And we can have this art act of surprise on them. Would you, who is willing to go invisible to get the act of surprise on them? Where, where are y'all planning to go? Well, like, the, there's that stairwell, like, right up here, right? Uh-huh. There's a stairwell well, here. Okay. This one here. There's a stairwell here. There's a stairwell here. Would it be easier to get the stairwell that goes there faster, or? Hmm. Well, what, what is your opinion? Where are y'all yes. trying to get? To the floor with uh, the H on there. Oh. So y'all haven't explored that other floor, right? Mm. 
Uh, Marcus, you'll think it. I'm just the one that has some wise words. Well, how how am I supposed to lead the way if you can't see me? <laughs> My blood does a little bit of thinking. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So does his head hurt? Oh, it hurts. It hurts big time. It's been hurting all day. How long does your spiritual weapon last? One minute. One minute? Uh, shame. Just so that y'all remember, these stairs both go both up and down. Mm -hmm. Let's go up. Screw it. These only go down, and these only go up from from that room. Which way are we going here, Mormir? You want to go up or down? Up. Like yeah. up is better, right? I don't know. I'm confused about these holsters. I don't even want to be on them. They hurt my head. Stairs should not be forever. All right, so you go up one level. That takes you here. And hold on. Oh, that's y'all are gonna get off on that level. Okay. I was thinking of it. We haven't fully explored this level, right? No. You haven't fully explored that level, and you haven't explored really at all this level. Yeah, but well, we know where not to go to level creepy. Say what now? We know where not to go. Some people are creepy. Or creepy. Creepy, not creepy. <laughs> like a whole room of undead people dancing in a circle. They weren't undead. That's not a good thing. Oh, I thought they were undead. No. Or am I misremembering? No, they're not undead. They're just frozen in time. Oh. My bad. Ignore me um, and carry on. This curtain over here, is this like a beaded curtain or? Which curtain? A tape? Yeah, it's like a beaded curtain, and it's frozen in time. It's frozen in time. So can we see through it? Yeah, you can see through it. Those crypt knights, all these knights over here, and you remember that these are the crypt knights. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried if those crypt knights see us, they might come chasing after us. I don't want to fight them. Um. Upstairs more? Well, either we go upstairs or we clear this floor. Your choice. I don't want to fight those crypt knights. If they see through the three curtain, that could be bad. See, it isn't. Say what now? All right. Going up? I got it. I'm assuming the crypt knights can't go through the beaded curtain because it's frozen in time. But that doesn't mean they can't go around. All right, so y'all are going to the third level? Yes. I think the creepy level. The dancing level? Oh, there could be crypt knights in here. How, how do we know if something's crypt knight or not? 
Uh, you have to trigger it. Yeah, trigger it. Can we do an investigation? <laughs> So let me just read this description of this room. This grand hall uh, has an arched ceiling, ornately carved. Mainly, main, many richly dressed men and women stand around the room, frozen in motionless poses. Twenty dancing girls dressed in flowing clothes are stopped in their spins and dances. The unmoving figure of a man dances with one of the girls. Really quietly, tries to sneak around the room. Uh, Hormir, are you entering that room? Hey, we just lost his voice. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I think he's having. No, I think he's having a problem. Did we lose Toby? Yeah, yeah we did. Bit. Uh, you may come back. Can you hear me? I hear you. Yes. Yeah, I can. Uh, I guess. So, Muglug's investigating? Well, Muglug's investigating is not really a skill for him. <laughs> Muglug more like trances around like a, a bull in a China cat in a China. Uh, China House work. We've really lost him, haven't we? Yeah, we might have. Okay, slumped over. Hmm. Yeah. Marcus is going to do an investigation of the dancers in the center. He's just going to try to scoot and Muglug's waiting for a skeleton to come out and bonk Marcus on the head. Can I see what I uh, notice on the dancers? Anything weird about them? Mm, well, did you roll investigation? Not yet. That's why I'm asking. All right. Let's see. Investigation. Fourteen. Uh, 14, you find internet has fully died. No. Uh, where's that at? General? Yeah. Uh, you find that there's a little hand-driven note. Driven note. I'm going to use main chan to pick up the note if I can and pull it towards me. I'm assuming it's frozen time. Uh, it is not. Ooh. 
Um, you you find a a little hand scrawled map, and it leads to the atrium. And there's a note. There's two. There's two. There's two map. There's two uh, scrawls. One is pointing you over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, over. Mm-hmm. Is is pointing you to this area. It says important. Oh. And the okay. other one is pointing you here. It says the way back. Or the way out. Okay. I suppose Marcus says, Come, Muglick. You have some investigating to do. And uh, he's going to take Muglick into this room. So real quick, so uh, so Toby did lose his internet. So do we want to give a little five-minute break? Uh, I'm good with that. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So I'm letting Toby know we're going to wait five minutes, see if it returns. So I'll go ahead and should I pause the stream or should we just leave it, leave it, leave it running? I don't know Thanks. what will work better. No, we'll just mute ourselves. Okay, leave it running. We'll just mute ourselves. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's, uh, we're going to take five. I'm going to put on the chat window. So it'll take five minutes to... If internet issues resolve, and can somebody go into the Twitch stream and put a comment oh, to yeah. that effect? And I will be back in five minutes.
सा है Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's see what his last message is saying. So, so okay, then it sounds like we're gonna go ahead and call okay. it a night. Right. All right. Yep. All right. So, um, so deja vu. Uh, it was deja vu this session. Next. Yes. Next time will be deja vu all over again. Uh, well, so I was off. Hi, Looper. <laughs> Say what now? Looper. <laughs> <laughs> so um so we'll go ahead and we'll call it a night everybody sorry about this um um and we'll see next week is tentative Uh, right. Yeah, next week is the third. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna call it tentative uh, at this point. Um. And then the and week then after we... that is definitely because that's the tenth, and that's going to be. Uh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day in the U.S. So. Uh, yeah. So we'll see. So worst case, we'll be back. Uh. May seventeenth, but uh, right. for now we're going to be tentative for for the third. Right. Sounds good. Alrighty. All right. Let me end the stream then. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, y'all.